The session is now called to order. <clears throat> Everybody, please, is requested to stand for the national anthem. remain standing for an invocation to be led by Representative Ann Hofer. Loving Lord, on this doubly significant occasion today of Ash Wednesday and Valentine, coincidentally falling on the same day, we call to mind both the words in Genesis and in Corinthians. Chapter 3, verse 19 of Genesis declares, For dust you are, and to dust you shall return. On the other hand, chapter 13, verses 4 to 8 of 1 Corinthians defines love thus. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. We ponder on these words now, Lord, and the message of both Valentine and Ash Wednesday intertwining. As we do so, we implore your blessing, Lord. Bless us with the wisdom to realize that we are on this earth for only a limited time. Thus, we must put that time to its best use. Bless us even more with humility, the virtue which has become rare in this age of narcissism and self-centeredness, so that we may recognize that we are made of the dust of clay and will return to dust one day. Humbled by such, Lord, bless us further so that we may comprehend that we need not be anxious about our impermanence, because love is the answer, for love never fails. Love never ends. With an ending faith in you, therefore, help us, Lord, to be patient and kind, placing the common good above all, making sure that the laws we create are fair and beneficial, particularly to the disadvantaged. In our everyday dealings, guide us so that we will not envy, we will not boast, and we will avoid the sin of pride. Even with the seeming power given us, Grant that we may not be rude, nor self-seeking, nor easily angered, nor hold grudges about perceived wrongs done to us. Stay with us so that we may never delight in evil, but rejoice in the truth always. And always, Lord, help us so that our love for our country and citizenry will prompt us to protect them as we remember constantly that love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres, love never fails. Unfailingly, Lord, every day, not just on Valentine, let this be our loving offering to you so that we may praise and glorify you, dearest Lord, forever and ever. <clears throat> Amen. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Majority Leader. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Happy Valentine's to everyone. Mr. Speaker, I move that we call the role of members. The Secretary General is directed to call the roll. Roll call of members, Honorable Representatives Abaya, Abayon, Abellanosa, Abu, Abueg, Acharon, Akop, Acosta, 
Acosta Alba, Adiom, Advincula, Agarao, Agabao, Aglipay Villar, Albano, Alcala, Alejano, Almario, Almonte, Alonte, Álvarez France, Álvarez Mercedes, Álvarez Pantaleón, Amante, Amaton, Andaya, Ngara Castillo, Antonino, Antonio, Aquino Magsaysay, Aragones, Arbizón, Arcilias, Arenas, Atienza, Aumentado, Bagao, Bagatsing, Bagilat, Banal, Barbers, Barsaga, Batawil, Batocabe, Bautista Bandigan, Belaro, Belmonte Feliciano, Belmonte Jose Christopher, Belmonte Ricardo, Benitez, Bernos, Bertiz, Biazón, Billones, Birón, Bolilia, Bondoc, Bordado, Bravo Anthony, Bravo Maria Vida, Rosas, Bulot Pectang, Cagas, Calalang, Calderón, Alex Rubiano, Caminero, Campos, Canama, Cari, Asilao, Castelo, Castro Prans, Castro Pred, Catamco, Cayetano, Celeste, Serapica, Ceriles, Chávez, Chipeco, Co, Coanco, Coliantes, Cortés, Cortuna, Cosalán, Crisólogo, Cuba, Cuaresma, Cueva, Dalipe, Datol, Daza, De Jesús, De Venecia, De Vera, De Pensor, Del Mar, Del Rosario, Del Oso, Montalia, Dimaporo Abdullah, Dimaporo Mohamed, Duabit, Durano, Di, Elago, Enverga, Erise, Erigel, Ermita Buhain, Escudero, Espina, Espino, Estrella, Eusebio, Ebardoni, Fariñas, Fernando, Ferrer Juliet, Ferrer Luis, Feriol, Florendo, Flores, Fortun, Fortuno, Fuentebella, Garbín, García Gwendolyn, García José Enrique, García Albano, Garín Oscar, Garín Sharon, Gazataya, Gachalian, Ron, Go Ana Cristina, Go Mark, Gómez, Gonzaga, González Alexandria, González Aurelio Don, González Fernando, Goriseta, Gullas, Hernández, Herrera D, Hopper, Jalos Jos, Javier, Ho, Conjun, Labad Labad, Laxon, Lagman, Lanete, Laugan, Lasatin, Leachon, Li, Lim Kaishong, La Brigat, Lopez Benhar, Lopez Carlo, Lopez Manuel, Loyola, Makapagal Arroyo, Mazeda, Madrona, Malapitan, Manalo, Mangawang, Mangodadato Soharto, Mangodadato Sahid, Mar Marcoleta, Marcos, Mariño, Marquez, Martínez, Matugas, Meliana, Mendín, oh, Mendoza, Mercado, Mirasol, Montoro, Nava, Nieto, Noel, Nograles Jericho, Nograles Carlo, 
Nolasco, Núñez Malañaón, Huaminal, Ocampo, Olivares, Ong Edwin, Ong Henry, Ortega Pablo, Ortega Bininola, Pacquiao, Paduano, Palma, Pancho, Panganiban, Panotes, Papandayan, Pichay, Pimentel, Pineda, Plaza, Primicia Sagabas, Kimbo, Radaza, Ramirez Sato, Ramos, Relampagos, Revilla, Rowapuno, Robes, Rocamora, Rodríguez Isidro, Rodríguez Máximo, Román, Romero, Romualdez, Romualdo, Roque, Sagdalan, Sagarbaria, Sahali, Salceda, Salimbangon, Salo, Salón, Sambar, Sandoval, Sancopan, Santos Recto, Sarmiento César, Sarmiento Edgar Mary, Sabellano, Sema, Xiao, Silverio, Singson, Suansing Estrelita, Suansing Horacio, Suarez, Si Alvarado, Tambunting, Tan Angelina, Tan Milagrosa, Tan Cherny, Tejada, Tebes, Tianco, Ting, Tinio, Tolentino, Treñas, Tugna, Tupas, Ti, Umali, Unabia, Ungab, Único, Uy Juliet, Uy Rolando, Uy Barreta, Vargas, Vargas Alfonso, Velarde, Velasco, Velasco Catera, Veloso, Vergara, Villafuerte, Villanueva, Villarraza Suárez, Villarica, Villarín, Violago, Yap Arthur, Yap Melesio, Yap Victor, Yu, Zamora Maria Carmen, Zamora Ronaldo, Zarate Subiri. Mr. Speaker, the roll call shows that 199 members responded to the call. With the 199 present, the chair declares a quorum. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, I move for the approval of journal number 62 of February 13, 2018. So move, Mr. Speaker. Is there any objection? The chair is done. The motion is approved. Mr. Speaker, I move that we hold a reference of business. Could the Secretary General be directed to read the title of bills and resolutions on first reading, as well as communicate, 
Clarifications and committee report. So move, Mr. Speaker. Is there any, any objection? The chair is none. The motion is approved. The Secretary General is directed to read bills, uh, resolution, and committee reports. Reverence of Business, Bills on First Reading, House Bill 7164, setting, the, setting 130 kilometers per hour as the maximum speed limit for vehicles running on toll roads. Representative Pancho. Uh, to the Committee on Transportation. Are you sure? House Bill 7165, creating the Panglao Airport Authority, Representative Aumentado. To the Committee on Government, Enterprises, and Privatization, and Committee on Transportation. Resolution, House Resolution 1675, expressing the sense of the House to strongly denounce the blatant disregard of people's health and safety in the dengue vaccine scandal, Representative Sarate. To the Committee on Rules. House Resolution 1676, Directed the Committee on Agriculture and Food to inquire on the alleged shortage of rice buffer stock, Representatives Casila, Sarate, Jesus, Tino, Brosas, and Elago. To the Committee on Rules. House Resolution 1677, Directed the Committee on Reorganization to inquire on the feasibility of merging the DepEd, CHED, and the TESDA into one office and or the amendment of Republic Acts numbers 7722 and 7796, Representative Bilaro. To the Committee on Rules. House Solution 1678, Direct the Appropriate Committee to inquire on reports of the failure of some sellers, manufacturers, and producers to produce sale warranty terms, Representative Gurtuna. To the Committee on Rules. House Solution 1680, requesting an inquiry by the Appropriate Committee on the purported improper and irregular awarding of renewable energy service contracts, Representative Kosalan. To the Committee on Rules. Communication letters dated 6 and 7 February 2018 of Roger Edino, Deputy Director, BSP. To the Committee on Banks and Financial Intermediaries. Additional reference of business committee reports. Report number 603 on House Bill number 7175. To the Committee on Rules. Report number 604 on House Bill number 7176. To the Committee on Rules. Report number 605 on House Bill number 7177. To the Committee on Rules. Report number 606 on House Bill number 7178. To the Committee on Rules. <coughs> Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, uh, I move that we recognize the Honorable Deputy Speaker Gwendolyn Garcia of the 3rd District of Cebu, uh, who, who wishes to speak on a matter of personal and collective privilege. So moved, Madam, uh, Mr. Speaker. Is there any, any objection? The chair hears none. The motion is approved. Representative Gwen Garcia is hereby recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, my distinguished colleagues, our guests, good afternoon, maayong hapon. I rise today on a question of personal and collective privilege. Personal, because it involves a decision in an administrative case before the office of the Ombudsman in which I am a respondent. Collective, because its enforcement would impinge upon the constitutional and statutory authority of this House of Representatives exclusively to discipline any of its members. I must say, Mr. Speaker, that there would have been no need to rise today on this question. For the past two days, with characteristic decisiveness and resolution, our Honorable Speaker, Pantaleon Alvarez, had, in a public pronouncement, declared, in terms clear and unmistakable, that this House cannot, should not, and would not enforce the decision of the House of the Office of the Ombudsman. In an, several news reports, the speaker was quoted as having said, my appropriate action is not to implement the order. Why? Because there is nothing in the Constitution that allows me to do that. In fact, 
it is not within the power of the Ombudsman to discipline much more to remove any member of the House of Representatives. That should have been clear enough. It was clear enough to me and clear enough to the House leadership. Last night, however, I read on my news feed that a distinguished colleague of ours, Representative Edsel Lagman, publicly disagreed with the speaker. Representative Lagman said, referring to the speaker, I don't know what constitution he is referring to. Representative Lagman insisted that the speaker enforce the decision of the Ombudsman citing, according to this news report written by Keith Kalayag of Sunstar, and I quote, the Ombudsman's law is clear with respect to the implementation of the decisions of the Ombudsman, even pending motion for reconsideration. We will go back to the Ombudsman law, which Representative Lagman cites. But first, let us begin with the Constitution, which the Speaker cites, and which Constitution Representative Lagman professes not knowing. When the Honorable Speaker said, there is nothing in the Constitution that allows the Ombudsman to discipline any member of Congress, he was, of course, referring to the 1987 Constitution. I would merely invite, and would have merely invited, my distinguished colleagues to read Article 11, Section 13, subsections 1 to 8, defining the powers, functions, and duties of the Ombudsman. But the apparent misconception of Representative Lagman, perhaps shared by others, compels me to read the entire constitutional provision. And Section 13 reads, the office of the Ombudsman shall have the following powers, functions, and duties. One, investigate on its own or on complaint by any person, any act or omission of any public official, employee, office, or agency when such act or omission appears to be illegal, unjust, improper, or inefficient. Two, direct upon complaint or at its own instance any public official or employee of the government or any subdivision, agency, or instrumentality thereof, as well as of any government-owned or controlled corporation with original charter to perform and expedite any act or duty required by law or to stop, prevent, and correct any abuse or impropriety in the performance of duties. Three, direct the officer concerned to take appropriate action against a public official or employee at fault and recommend his removal, suspension, demotion, fine, censure, or prosecution, and ensure compliance therewith. Four, direct the officer concerned in any appropriate case and subject to such limitations as may be provided by law to furnish it with copies of documents relating to contracts or transactions entered into by his office involving the disbursement or use of public funds or properties and report any irregularity to the Commission on Audit for appropriate action. Five, request any government agency for assistance and information necessary in the discharge of its responsibilities and to examine, if necessary, pertinent records and documents. Six, publicize matters covered by its investigation and circumstances so warrant and with due prudence. Seven, determine the causes of inefficiency 
red tape mismanagement, fraud, and corruption in the government, and make recommendations for their elimination and the observance of high standards of ethics and efficiency. And finally, eight, promulgate its rules of procedure and exercise such other powers or perform such functions or duties as may be provided by law. Nothing at all in this provision which defines in its entirety the powers, duties, and functions of the Ombudsman, is there any mention, nay, even a suggestion, that the Ombudsman has the power to discipline any member of Congress, much less to remove such member. But wait, what about subsection 8? which says the ombudsman may exercise such other powers or perform such functions or duties as may be provided by law. Maybe this is the law of which Representative Lagman speaks. I beg your indulgence, Mr. Speaker, and my distinguished colleagues, and ask that we return to that law later. Instead, let us focus on the clear provision under Article 6 of the same Constitution vesting upon this House of Representatives the exclusive power to determine whether to discipline a member and two-thirds of this House to determine if the erring member should be suspended or removed from office. Section 16, paragraph 3 states, each house may determine the rules of its proceedings, punish its members for disorderly behavior, and with the concurrence of two-thirds of all its members, suspend or expel a member. A penalty of suspension, when imposed, shall not exceed 60 days. What the Honorable Speaker therefore meant, in case his meaning was not clear to some, is that the only instance where the removal of any member of this House of Representatives is allowed under the Constitution is by the decision of two-thirds of this House of Representatives. Not an order of the Ombudsman, but by two-thirds of all the members of this independent House of Representatives. But wait, what of the Ombudsman law, of which Representative Lagman speaks, is there a provision there uh, allowing the dismissal or removal of a member of the House of Representatives by order of the Office of the Ombudsman? Republic Act 6770 is the law that Section 13, Subsection 8 of Article 11 of the Constitution speaks of. The Ombudsman may exercise such other powers and functions as may be provided by law. RA 6770 is such law. The question now, therefore, is, does the Ombudsman law allow the office of the Ombudsman to dismiss or remove a member of the House of Representatives? The answer is no. No, not just no, there is no provision under the Ombudsman law. Rather, the answer is no, the Ombudsman law specifically and expressly prohibits it. Section 21 of the Ombudsman law 
specifically excludes from the disciplinary authority of the office of the Ombudsman all members of Congress. Section 21, official subject to disciplinary authority exceptions. The office of the Ombudsman shall have disciplinary authority over all elective and appointive officials of the government and its subdivisions, instrumentalities, and agencies, including members of the cabinet, local government, government-owned or controlled corporations, and their subsidiaries, except over officials who may be removed only by impeachment or over members of Congress and the judiciary. I shall repeat for emphasis, except over officials who may be removed only by impeachment or over members of Congress and the judiciary. The legislature, therefore, interpreting the provisions of the Constitution on the powers of the office of the Ombudsman expressly excluded members of Congress along with impeachable officials and members of the judiciary from the Ombudsman's disciplinary authority. That is how the Eighth Congress, of which I believe Representative Lagman was a member, defined the disciplinary authority of the office of the Ombudsman. I will not today discuss the merits of the case against me. That is for another day before another forum. I should wish, however, that on this question, which seeks to diminish the power of this House of Representatives, not only under the Constitution, but in the Ombudsman law itself, that we, the members of this House, could agree that instead of surrendering constitutional and statutory authority, we jealously guard it. That instead of allowing an illegal encroachment upon what is constitutionally and statutorily the exclusive domain of this House, we all stand together. I would wish to quote a portion of the same article, which states, Akbayan Representative Tam Villarin's view, however, differs from Lagman. He believes Garcia is still entitled to legal remedies. Villarin also noted that there are so many pending cases involving members of Congress to date, including Representative Lagman himself. And so I ask, and I repeat, that instead of allowing an illegal encroachment upon what is constitutionally and statutorily the exclusive domain of this House, we all stand together. Not necessarily to stand with me, but to stand guard and stand true to this institution, the Constitution and the laws. Daghang salamat o malipayong Valentine's Day kanatong tanan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, the Honorable Deputy Speaker Gwendolyn Garcia 
of the third district of Cebu has signified her wishes not to entertain interpolations. So with that, Mr. Speaker, I move that we refer the speech of the Honorable Deputy Speaker Gwendolyn Garcia to the Committee on Rules for its appropriate action. Is there any objection? The chair is done. The motion is approved. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. What is the pleasure of Honorable uh, Representative Lagman? I respect the position of the Deputy Speaker Garcia not to be interpolated, but I reserve my right to speak on rebuttal at a proper time, not necessarily today, because today is Valentine's Day. Most probably by next week, preferably on Monday, because my name was extensively mentioned by the Honorable Deputy Speaker. So I make that reservation, Mr. Speaker. Majority Leader. No, ten. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, I now move that the lady from party list senior citizens, the Honorable Milagros Magsaysay, uh, be recognized on a, personal ma uh, on a matter of personal and collective. Uh. Representative Milagros Magsaysay, is you by recognize. To the Noble House Speaker, my dear colleagues, distinguished staff, and guests in this honorable plenary, my most heartfelt wishes of a happy Valentine's Day to each and every one of you. In this heart's day, it is in this representation's hopes that we may not only have a heart that, be that beats for our loved ones, but for the selfless, indomitable service for our countrymen, particularly for those who need them the most. So at this juncture, along with some 500 of, of our cherished senior citizens around the country, let us serenade you in appealing for your support for the swift passage of the Consolidated Universal Social Pensions Bill, starting with House Bill 5038, authored by our Honorable Representative from a COBE call party list, Congressman Rodel Batocabe, with additional provisions by Honorable Representatives Enrico Pineda and Michael Romero of one Pacman party list, Luis Jose Campos, Jr. of the 2nd District of Makati, Ruel Peter Gonzaga of the 2nd District of Compostela Valley, and Carlos Isagani Zarate of Bayan Muna party list, and is currently being deliberated at the Committee on Population and Family Relations as chaired by the Honorable Congresswoman Sol Aragones of the 3rd District of Laguna. Today, we are not only commemorating the special day for the Declaration of Love, but also the eighth year since the landmark Expanded Senior Citizens Act of 2010 was signed into law. Let me take this chance to commend our colleagues, former Senator and now Congresswoman Pilar Juliana Cayetano, and former Congressman Eduardo Chalcita for drafting the current law that widely benefits some 8.3 million elderly of our country. Also, let me extend my gratitude to our former president and now Congresswoman Gloria Macapagal Arroyo for enacting this law exactly eight years ago. Truly, the RA 9994 has changed the dynamics of el elderly living in the country from being marginalized in the sidelines into one that is encouraged and active progressive participation in the development of our dear republic. However, the cost for the betterment of the lives of our nation's elderly refuses to end here. In a recent report from the Population Commission, the country's population has reached the aging point, with over 7.5% of our populace aged 60 years and over. This poses plenty of challenges for our state in terms of mitigating the impacts of aging in our society. One of the key provisions in the Expanded Senior Citizens Act of 2010 was the institutionalization of social pensions in the country to ensure indigent senior citizens a secured monthly subsistence of 500 pesos. 
Yet the bottleneck of implementation of these well-designed provisions is in the trials of identifying the target beneficiaries. If we also counter in the current inflation rate in consumption today, as compared to eight years ago, a 500 peso monthly subsistence is inadequate in ensuring our poor elderly of a decent and dignified living condition. The solution, as the Consolidated Universal Social Pensions Bill proposes, is making the scope of the existing provisions beneficiaries as universal, as well as increase its benefit level as a bid for a more inclusive and empowering social pension design system for a developing country. The same social pension design system as currently being implemented in other developing Asian economies, such as that of Thailand and Nepal, has proven to be effective in bettering the ways of life of their elderly population by providing a bedrock of income security, particularly in the retirement years, thereby decreasing their dependence on their families while spurring economic growth in some of the most depressed areas in these nations. In a study conducted by the Coalition of Services of the Elderly, or COSE, the proposed Consolidated uh, Universal Social Pensions Bill may lift some of our country's 3 million Filipinos out of dire poverty. It is this representation's desire to see a society where elderly is afforded a life of dignity and decency in their few remaining years, and the Consolidated Universal Social Pensions Bill serves as a beacon of hope and optimism for maximizing the contributions of our senior citizens for the betterment of our country. That is why, my dear colleagues, I, together with some 8 million senior citizens of the Republic of the Philippines, am knocking in your hearts appealing for your support for the urgent passage of this bill, as this won't only better the lives of our nation's elderly, but also the generations that will follow after them. Again, my most heartfelt wishes for a happy Valentine's Day, and thank you for this heartwarming opportunity to appeal for, to your benevolent representations. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, I move that we refer the speech of the Honorable Milagros Magsaysay of uh, Partly Senior Citizens to the Committee on Rules for its appropriate action. Is there any objection? The chair is none. The motion is approved. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, before we take up uh, bills on third reading, I would like to recognize the guests of the Honorable Milagros Magsaysay and Honorable Francisco Datol of Senior Citizens Partilis, as well as the guest of Honorable Sol Aragonis of the Third District of Laguna, namely, the Alliance of Senior Citizens of Valenzuela, all 300 strong, COPAP, Confederation of Older per Persons Association of the Philippines, or uh, ACTION, AWESCOP, FSCAP, Akbayan Youth, COSE, Tanghalang Balanghay, and uh, ACTION para sa Pension Coalition. Uh, maybe may, may they be uh, requested to Pl be please welcome. stand to be recognized. Welcome to the House of Representatives. Happy Valentine's Day, Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, I move for the consideration on third reading House Bill Number Seven Zero Four Four. And for this purpose, may I ask that the Secretary General be directed to read the title of the bill and thereafter to call the roll for nominal voting. Is there any objection? The chair is none. The motion is approved. The Secretary General is directed to read House Bill 7044 and proceed with nominal voting. House Bill Number 7044, an act declaring June 18 of every year special non working holiday in the city of Bacolod, province of Negros Occidental, to be known as the Bacolod City Charter Day in commemoration of the day President Manuel L. Quezon signed and approved into effect. Commonwealth Act Number 326, creating the City of Bacolod. Roll call of members, consideration House Bill Number 7044. Abaya, Abayon, Abillanosa, Abu, Abueg, Acharon, Akop, Acosta, Acosta Alba, Adjong, Advincula, Agarao, Agabao, Aglipay Villar, Albano, Alcala, Alejano, Al Mario, Al Monte, Alonte, Alvarez France, Alvarez Mercedes, 
Alvarez Pantalyon, Amante, Amatong, Andaya, Angara Castillo, Antonino, Antonio, Aquino Magsaysay, Aragones, Arbison, Arcillas, Arenas, Atchensa, Aumentado, Bagaw, Bagaching, Bagilat, Banal, Barbers, Barsaga, Batawil, Batukabe, Bautista Bandigan, Belaro, Belmonte Feliciano, Belmonte Jose Christopher, Belmonte Ricardo, Benitez, Bernos, Bertiz, Biazon, Billones, Biron, Bulilla, Bundok, Bordado, Bravo Anthony, Bravo Maria Vida, Brosas, Bulut Bigtang, Cagas, Calalang, Calderon, Calixturbiano, Caminero, Campos, Canama, Cari, Casilao, Castelo, Caso Plans, Caso Fedenil, Catamco, Cayetano, Celeste, Serafica, Cirilles, Chávez, Chipeco, Co, Cuanco, Juliantes, Cortés, Cortuna, Tosalán, Crisólogo, Cuba, Cuaresma, Cueva, Dalipe, Datol, Daza, De Jesús, De Venecia, De Vera, Defensor, Del Mar, Del Rosario, Del Oso Montalla, Mi Maporo Abdullah, Mi Maporo Khalid, Duabit, Durano, D, Elago, Enverga, Erise, Erigel, Ermita Buain, Escudero, Espina, Espino, Estrella, Eusebio, Libardone, Fariñas, Fernando, Ferrer Juliet, Ferrer Luis, Ferriol, Floirendo, Flores, Fortun, Fortuno, Fentebella, Garbin, García Gwendolyn, García José, García Albano, Garin Richard, Garin Sharon, Gasataya, Gachelian, Geron, Guano Cristina, Go Mark, Gomez, Gonzaga, González Alexandria, González Aurelio Dong, González Fernando, Goreseta, Gullas, Hernández, Herrera D, Hofer, Palosos, Javier, Co, Conjun, Labad Labad, Lacson, Lagman, Lanete, Laugan, Lesetin, Liechon, Li, Limkaichong, Lobrigat, Lopez Benhur, Lopez Carlo, Lopez Manuel, Loyola, Macapagalaroyo, Maceda, Madrona, Malapitan, Manalo, Mangawang, Mangandodato Suarto, Mangandodato Sajid, Marcoleta, Marcos, Mariño, Marquez, Martinez, Matugas, Meliana, Mending, Mendoza, Mercado, Mirasol, Montoro, Nava, Nieto, Noel, Nograles Jericho, Nograles Carlo, Nulasco, Nunez Maleñaon, Waminal, Ocampo, Olivares, Ong Edwin, Ong Henry, Ortega Pablo, Ortega Vini, Pacquiao, Paduano, Palma, Pancho, Panganiban, Panotes, Papandayan, Pichay, Pimentel, Pineda, Plaza, Primicia Sagabas, Kimbo, Radasa, Ramirez Sato, Ramos, Relampagos, Rivilla, Roapuno, Robes, Rocamora, Rodriguez Isidro, Rodriguez Maximo, Roman, Romero, Romualdez, Romualdo, Roque, Sakdalan, Sagarbaria, Sahali, Salceda, Salimbangon, Salo, Salon, Sambar, Sangkopan, Sandoval, Santos Recto, Sarmiento Cesar, Sarmiento Edgar, Sevillano, Sema, Xiao, Silverio, Singson, Suan Sigistrilita, Suan Singuracho, Suarez, Si Alvarado, Tambunting, Tanangelina, Tan Milagrosa, Tan Shirley, Tejada, Teves, Chanco, Ting, Tiño, Tolentino, Treñas, Tugna, Tupas, Ti, Umali, Unabia, 
Ungab, Uniko, Uy Juliet, Uy Rolando, Uy Bareta, Vargas, Vargas Alfonso, Velarde, Velasco, Velasco Catera, Veloso, Vergara, Villapuerte, Villanueva, Villaraza Suarez, Villarica, Villarín, Yulago, Yap Arthur, Yap Melesio, Yap Victor, Yu, Samora Marcamen, Samora Ronaldo, Sarate, Subiri. With 181 affirmative votes, zero negative, zero abstention, House Bill 7044 is uh, approved on third and final reading. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, I move that to take up on, on third reading House Bill number 7061 and uh, Secretary General be directed to read the title of the bill and thereafter call the roll for nominal voting. So there moved, any, Mr. Speaker. Is there any objection? The chair is none. The motion is approved. The Secretary General is directed to read House Bill 7061 and proceed to nominal voting. House Bill 7061, an act increasing the bed capacity of the Southern Philippines Medical Center in Davao City from 1,200 to 1,500 beds, upgrading its professional health care services and facilities, authorizing the increase of its medical personnel, and appropriating funds, therefore. Roll call of members, consideration of House Bill number 7061, Abaya, Abayon, Abillanosa, Abu, Abweg, Acharon, Akop, Acosta, Acosta Alba, Adjong, Advincula, Agrao, Agabao, Aglipay Villar, Albano, Alcala, Alejano, Almario, Almonte, Alonte, Alvarez France, Alvarez Mercedes, Alvarez Pantalion, Amante, Amatong, Andaya, Angara Castillo, Antonino, Antonio, Aquino Magsaysay, Aragones, Arbison, Arcillas, Arenas, Achenza, Aumentado, Bagao, Bagaching, Bagilat, Banal, Barbers, Barsaga, Batawil, Batocabe, Bautista Bandigan, Belaro, Belmonte Feliciano, Belmonte Jose Christopher, Belmonte Ricardo, Benitez, Bernos, Bertiz, Biason, Billones, Biron, Bulilia, Bundok, Bordado, Bravo Anthony, Bravo Meravida, Brosas, Bulutbiktang, Cagas, Calalang, Calderon, Calix Rubiano, Caminero, Campos, Canama, Cari, Casilao, Castelo, Casa France, Casa Fedenil, Catamco, Caetano, Celeste, Seravica, Cirilles, Chavez, Chipeco, Co, Cuanco, Colliantes, Cortés, Cortuna, Cosalan, Crisólogo, Cuba, Cuaresma, Cueva, Dalipe, Datol, Daza, De Jesus, De Venecia, De Vera, Defensor, Del Mar, Del Rosario, De Los Montalla, Imoporo Abdula, Imoporo Khalid, Duwabit, Durano, D, El Lago, Enverga, Erise, Erigel, Ermita Buain, Escudero, Espina, Espino, Estrella, Eusebio, Ibardone, Fariñas, Fernando, Ferrer Juliet, Ferrer Luis, Ferriol, Floirendo, Flores, Fortun, Fortuno, Fentebella, Garbin, Garcia Gwendolyn, Garcia Jose, Garcia Albano, Garin Richard, Garin Sharon, Gasataya, Gachalian, Heron, Guana Cristina, Go Mark, Gomez, Gonzaga, Gonzalez Alexandria, Gonzalez Aurelio Dong, Gonzalez Fernando, Gorseta, Gullas, Hernandez, Herrera D, Hofer, Halosos, Javier, Co, Konghun, Labad Labad, Lakson, Lagman, Lanete, Laugan, Lasetin, Liachon, Li, Limkaichong, Lobrigat, Lopez Benhur, Lopez Carlo, Lopez Manuel, Loyola, Makapagalaroyo, Maceda, Madrona, Malapitan, Manalo, Mangawang, Mangudadato Suarto, Mangudadato Sajid, Marcoleta, Marcos, Marino, Marquez, Martinez, Matugas, Meliana, Mending, 
Mendoza, Mercado, Mirasol, Montoro, Nava, Nieto, Noel, Nograles Jericho, Nograles Carlo, Nolasco, Nunez Malignaon, Waminal, Ocampo, Olivares, Ong Edwin, Ong Henry, Ortega Pablo, Ortega Bini, Pacquiao, Paduano, Palma, Pancho, Panganiban, Panotes, Papandayan, Pichay, Pimentel, Pineda, Plaza, Primicia Sagabas, Kimbo, Radasa, Ramirez Sato, Ramos, Relampagos, Revilla, Robapuno, Robes, Rocamora, Rodriguez Isidro, Rodriguez Máximo, Román, Romero, Romualdez, Romualdo, Roque, Sakdalan, Sagarbaria, Sahali, Salceda, Salimbangon, Salo, Salón, Sambar, Sancopan, Sandoval, Santos Recto, Sarmiento César, Sarmiento Edgar, Sevillano, Sema, Xiao, Silverio, Singson, Suan Sigsilita, Suan Singuracho, Suárez, Si Alvarado, Tambunting, Tan Angelina, Tan Milagrosa, Tan Shani, Tejada, Teves, Chanco, Ting, Tiño, Tolentino, Treñas, Tugna, Tupas, Ti, Umali, Unabia, Ungab, Unico, Uy Juliet, Uy Rolando, Uy Bareta, Vargas, Vargas Alfonso, Vilarde, Velasco, Velasco Catera, Viloso, Vergara, Villaperte, Villanueva, Villaraza Suárez, Villarica, Villarín, Vilago, Yap Artur, Yap Milesio, Yap Victor, Yu, Samora Marcamen, Samora Ronaldo, Sarate, Subiri. With 184 voting in the affirmative, zero negative, zero abstention, the House Bill number 7061 is approved on third and final reading. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, I move that we take up on third reading House Bill number 7062 and that the Secretary General be directed to read the title of the bill and thereafter call the roll for nominal voting. So move, Mr. Speaker. Is there any objection? The chair is none. The motion is approved. The Secretary General directed to read House Bill 7062 and proceed for, to nominal voting. House Bill number 7062, an act upgrading the Mindanao Central Sanitary in Pas Pasobolong, Sambuanga City into a tertiary level hospital, increasing its bed capacity for general care services to 300 and appropriating funds therefore. Roll call of members, consideration House Bill number 7062, Abaya, Abayon, Abillanosa, Abu, Abweg, Acharon, Akop, Acosta, Acosta Alba, Adjong, Advincula, Agraw, Agabaw, Aglipay Villar, Albano, Alcala, Alejano, Almario, Almonte, Alonte, Alvarez France, Alvarez Mercedes, Alvarez Pantaleon, Amante, Amatong, Andaya, Angara Castillo, Antonino, Antonio, Aquino Magsaysay, Aragones, Arbison, Marsillas, Arenas, Achenza, Aumentado, Bagaw, Bagaching, Bagilat, Banal, Barbers, Barsaga, Batawil, Batocabe, Bautista Bandigan, Belaro, Belmonte Pilisiano, Belmonte Jose Christopher, Belmonte Ricardo, Benitez, Bernos, Bertiz, Biason, Billones, Biron, Bolilla, Bundok, Bordado, Bravo Anthony, Bravo Maravida, Brosas, Bulut Bigtang, Cagas, Calalang, Calderon, Calixturbiano, Caminero, Campos, Canama, Cari, Casilao, Castelo, Castro Trans, Castro Fedinil, Catamco, Caetano, Celeste, Serapica, Cerilles, Chavez, Chipeco, Co, Cubanco, Collantes, Cortés, Cortuna, Coselan, Crisólogo, Cuba, Cuaresma, Cueva, Dalipe, Datol, Daza, De Jesus, De Venecia, De Vera, Defensor, Del Mar, Del Rosario, De Los Amantalla, De Maporo Dula, De Maporo Calid, Duavit, Durano, Di, Elago, Enverga, Erise, Erigel, Ermita Buain, Escudero, Espina, Espino, Estrella, Gisevio, Ibardone, Fariñas, Fernando, Ferrer Juliet, Ferrer Luis, Ferriol, Floirendo, Flores, Fortun, Fortuno, Pentebella, Garbin, Garcia Gwendolyn, Garcia Jose, 
Gersi Elbano, Gersi Richard, Gersi Sharon, Gersi Sataya, Gersi Chelyan, Heron, Gona Cristina, Gersi Mark, Gomez, Gonzaga, Gonzales Alexandria, Gonzales Arredong, Gonzales Fernando, Goriseta, Gullas, Hernandez, Herrera D, Hopper, Halosos, Javier, Co, Conghun, Labad Labad, Lacson, Lagman, Lanete, Laugan, Lasatin, Liechon, Li, Lim Kaichong, Lobrigat, Lopez Benhur, Lopez Carlo, Lopez Manuel, Loyola, Makapagalaroyo, Maceda, Madrona, Malapitan, Manalo, Mangawang, Mangudadato Suarto, Mangudadato Sajid, Marcoleta, Marcos, Marino, Marquez, Martinez, Matugas, Miliana, Mending, Mendoza, Mercado, Mirasol, Montoro, Nava, Nieto, Noel, Nograles Jericho, Nograles Carlo, Nulasco, Nunez Malinaon, Waminal, Ocampo, Olivares, Ong Edwin, Ong Henry, Ortega Pablo, Ortega Vini, Pacquiao, Paduano, Palma, Pancho, Panganiban, Panotes, Papandayan, Pichay, Pimentel, Pineda, Plaza, Pimisya Sagabas, Kimbo, Radasa, Ramirez Sato, Ramos, Relampagos, Revilla, Rawapuno, Robes, Rocamora, Rodriguez Isidro, Rodriguez Maximo, Roman, Romero, Romualdez, Romualdo, Roque, Sakdalan, Sagarbaria, Sahali, Salceda, Salimbangon, Salo, Salon, Sambar, Sancopan, Sandoval, Santos Trecto, Sarmiento Cesar, Sarmiento Edgar, Savillano, Sema, Xiao, Silverio, Singson, Suasig Celita, Suasig Horacio, Suarez, Alvarado, Tambunting, Tan Angelina, Tan Milagrosa, Tan Shaini, Tejada, Tevez, Chanco, Ting, Tinho, Talentino, Treñas, Tugna, Tupas, Ti, Umali, Unabia, Ungab, Unico, Uy Juliet, Uy Rolando, Uy Bereta, Vargas, Vargas Alfonso, Velarde, Velasco, Velasco Catera, Veloso, Vergara, Villapuerte, Villanueva, Villaraza Suarez, Villarica, Villarín, Villago, Yap Artur, Yap Milesio, Yap Victor, Yu, Samoro Mar Carmen, Samoro Ronaldo, Sarate, Subiri. With 185 voting in the affirmative, zero negative, zero abstention, House Bill 7062 is hereby approved on third and final reading. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, I move that we take up on third reading House Bill number 7063 and direct the Secretary General to read the title of the bill and thereafter call the roll for nominal voting. So moved, Mr. Speaker. Is there any objection? The chair is done. The motion is approved. The Secretary General is directed to read House Bill 7063 and proceed to nominal voting. House Bill 7063, an act increasing the bed capacity for tertiary general health care of the Dr. Jose and Rodriguez Memorial Hospital and Sanitarium in Talak, Local City, from 200 to 800 beds and appropriating funds, therefore, amending for the Purpose Republic Act number 9420 entitled. An act converting 200 beds of the 2,000 bed Dr. Jose and Rodriguez Memorial Hospital and Sanitarium for tertiary general health care, appropriating funds therefore and for other purposes. Roll call of members for consideration of House Bill number 7063. Abaya, Abayon, Abilenosa, Abo, Abweg, Acharon, Akop, Acosta, Acosta Alba, Adjong, Advincula, Agrao, Agabao. Agliga, Aglipay Villar, Albano, Alcala, Alejano, Almario, Almonte, Alonte, Alvarez Franz, Alvarez Mercedes, Alvarez Pantaleon, Amante, Amatong, Andaya, Angara Castillo, Antonino, Antonio, Aquino Magsaysay, Aragones, Arbison, Arcillas, Arenas, Atienza, Aumentado, Bagao, Bagatsing, Bagilat, Banal, Barbers, Bazaga, Batawil, Batokabi, Bautista Bandigan, Belaro, Belmonte Feliciano, Belmonte Jose Christopher, Belmonte Ricardo, Benitez, Bernos, Bertiz, Biason, Billones, Biron, Bolilla, Bondoc, Bordado, Bravo Anthony, Bravo Maria Vida, Brosas, Gulut, Bigtang, Cagas, Calalang, Calderon, Calixto Rubiano, Caminero, Campus, Canama, Cari, Casilao, Castelo, Castro France, Castro Predinil, Katamco, Caetano, Celeste, Serapica, Ceriles, Chavez, Chipeco, Co, 
con Juanco, Corrientes, Cortes, Cortuna, Cusalán, Crisólogo, Cuba, Cuaresma, Cueva, Dalipe, Datol, Daza, de Jesús, de Venecia, de Vera, de Pensor, del Mar, del Rosario, de los Montaña, de Mapor Abdullah, de Mapor Muhammad Khalid, Doabit, Durano, B, Ilago, Inverga, Irise, Irigel, Ermita Buhain, Escudero, Espina, Espino, Estrella, Eusebio, Ibardone, Fariñas, Fernando, Ferrer Juliet, Ferrer Luis, Ferriol, Florendo, Flores, Fortun, Fortuno, Puente Villa, Garbin, García Gwendolin, García José Enrique, García Albano, Garin Oscar, Garin Sharon, Casataya, Gatsalian, Heron, Go Ana Cristina, Go Mark, Gomez, Gonzaga, González Alexandria, González Aurelio, González Fernando, Goreseta, Gullas, Hernández, Herrera D, Hofer, Halosos, Javier, Co, Kungun, Labad Labad, Lakson, Lagman, Lanete, Lugan, Lazadin, Lichon, Li, Lincaichong, Lobrigat, Lopez Benjur, Lopez Carlo, Lopez Manuel Luis, Loyola, Macapagal Arroyo, Maceda, Mad Marcos, Marino, Marquez, Martinez, Matugas, Miliana, Mending, Mendoza, Mercado, Mirasol, Montoro, Nava, Nieto, Noel, Nograles Jericho, Nograles Carlo, Nulasco, Nunez Malanyao, Nuaminal, Ocampo, Olivares, Ong Edwin, Ong Henry, Ortega Pablo, Ortega Bininola, Pacquiao, Paduano, Palma, Pancho, Panganiban, Panotes, Papandayan, Pichay, Pimentel, Pineda, Plaza, Primicia Sagabas, Kimbo, Radasa, Ramirez Sato, Ramos, Relampagos, Revilla, Ruapuno, Robes, Rocamora, Rodriguez Isidro, Rodriguez Maximo, Roman, Romero, Romualdez, Romualdo, Roque, Sagdalan, Sagarbaria, Sahale, Salceda, Salimbangon, Salo, Salon, Sambar, San Copan, Sandoval, Santos Recto, Sarmiento Cesar, Sarmiento Edgar Meri, Sabellano, Sema, Siao, Silverios, Sinson, Suansing Estrelleta, Suansing Horacio, Suarez, Si Alvarado, Tambuntin, Tan Angelina, Tan Milagrosa, Tan Cherny, Tijada, Tevez, Chanco, Ting, Tinio, Tolentino, Trenas, Tugna, Tupas, Ti, Umali, Unabia, Ungab, Unico, Uy Juliet, Uy Rolando, Uy Barreta, Vargas, Vargas Alfonso, Vilarte, Velasco, Velasco Quatera, Veloso, Vergara, Villafuerte, Villanueva, Villaraza Suarez, Villarica, Villarín, Yulago, Yap Arthur, Yap Milesio, Yap Victor, Yu, Zamora Maria Carmen, Zamora Ronaldo, Sarate, Subiri. With 186 affirmative votes, zero negative, zero abstention, House Bill 7063 is hereby approved on third and final reading. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, I move for the consideration on third reading, House Bill number 7064. And for this purpose, may I ask that the Secretary General be directed to read the title of the bill and thereafter to call the roll for nominal voting. Is there any objection? The chair is done. The motion is approved. The Secretary General is directed to read House Bill 7064 and proceed to nominal voting. House Bill number 7064, an act increasing the bed capacity of the Don Emilio del Valle Memorial Hospital in the municipality of Ubay, province of Bohol, from 50 to 300 beds, upgrading its services and facilities in professional health care, authorizing the increase of its medical personnel, appropriating funds, therefore. Roll call of members, consideration of House Bill number 7064. Abaya, Abayon, Abilianosa, Abu, Abweg, Acharon, Akop, Acosta, Acosta Alba, Adjong, Advincula, Agarau, Agabao, Amlipay Billiard, Albano, Alcala, Alejano, Almario, Almonte, Alonte, Alvarez France, Alvarez Mercedes, Alvarez Pantaleon, Amante, Amatong, Andaya, Angara Castillo, Antonino, Antonio, Aquino Magsaysay, Aragones, Arbison, Arcillas, Arenas, Achenza, Aumentado, Bagau, Bagaching, Bagilat, Banal, Barbers, Barsaga, Batawil, Batocabe, Bautista, Bandigan, Belaro, Belmonte Feliciano, Belmonte Jose Christopher, Belmonte Ricardo, Benitez, Bernos, Bertiz, Biason, Billones, Biron, Bulilla, Bundok, Bordado, Bravo Anthony, Bravo Maravida, 
Brosas, Bulut Bigtang, Cagas, Galalang, Calderon, Galix Rubiano, Caminero, Campos, Canama, Cari, Casilao, Castelo, Casaplans, Casapedinil, Catamco, Caetano, Celeste, Serapica, Cerilles, Chávez, Chipeco, Co, Coanco, Collantes, Cortés, Cortuna, Coselan, Cresólogo, Cuba, Cuaresma, Cueva, Dalipe, Datol, Daza, De Jesús, De Venecia, De Vera, De Pensor, Del Mar, Del Rosario, De Los Montalla, De Moporo Dula, De Moporo Calid, Duabit, Durano, Di, Elago, Enverga, Erise, Eriguel, Ermita Buain, Escudero, Espina, Espino, Estrella, Eusebio, Ibardone, Fariñas, Fernando, Ferrer Juliet, Ferrer Luis, Periol, Floirendo, Flores, Fortun, Fortuno, Fentebella, Garbin, García Gwendolyn, García Jose, García Elbano, Garin Richard, Garin Sharon, Gazataya, Hagichalian, Geron, Guana Cristina, Gomark, Gomez, Gonzaga, González Alexandria, González Sarayerdón, González Fernando, Goreseta, Gullas, Hernández, Herrera D, Hofer, Jalazos, Javier, Co, Conjun, Labad Labad, Laxon, Lagman, Lanete, Laugan, Lazatin, Liachon, Li, Limcaichong, Lubrigat, López Benur, López Carlos, López Manuel, Loyola, Magpacalaroyo, Maceda, Madrona, Malapitan, Manalo, Mangawang, Mamudadato Suarto, Mamudadato Sajid, Marcoleta, Marcos, Mariño, Marquez, Martínez, Matugas, Meliana, Mending, Mendoza, Mercado, Mirasol, Montoro, Nava, Nieto, Nuel, Nograles, Jericho, Nograles, Carlo, Nolasco, Núñez, Maleñaon, Maminal, Ocampo, Olivares, Ong Edwin, Ong Henry, Ortega Pablo, Ortega Vini, Pacquiao, Paduano, Palma, Pancho, Panganiban, Panotes, Pandayan, Pichay, Pimentel, Pineda, Plaza, Pimichia Sacabas, Kimbo, Radaza, Ramirez Sato, Ramos, Elampagos, Revilla, Robapuno, Robes, Rocamora, Rodriguez Isidro, Rodriguez Máximo, Román, Romero, Romualdez, Romualdo, Roque, Sacdalan, Sacarbaria, Sahali, Salceda, Salimbangon, Salo, Salón, Sambar, Sancopan, Sandoval, Santos Recto, Sarmiento César, Sarmiento Edgar, Sevillano, Sema, Xiao, Silverio, Simpson, Suancín, Celita, Suancín, Horacio, Suárez, Alvarado, Tambuntín, Tan Angelina, Tan Milagrosa, Tan Cherny, Tejada, Teves, Chanco, Ting, Tiño, Talentino, Treñas, Tugna, Tupas, Ti, Umali, Unabia, Ungab, Unico, Uy Juliet, Uy Rolando, Uy Bareta, Vargas, Vargas Alfonso, Velarde, Velasco, Velasco Catera, Veloso, Vergara, Villacuete, Villanueva, Villaraza, Suárez, Villarica, Villarín, Biolago, Yap Arthur, Yap Milesio, Yap Victor, Yu, Samora Mar Carmen, Samora Ronaldo, Sarate, Subiri. With 186 affirmative votes, zero negative, zero abstention, House Bill 7064 is hereby approved on third and final reading. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, I move that we take up on third reading House Bill number 7065, and that the Secretary General be directed to read the title of the bill and thereafter call the roll for nominal voting. So move, Mr. Speaker. Is there any objection? The chair is none. The motion is approved. The Secretary General is directed to read House Bill 7065 and proceed to nominal voting. House Bill number 7065, an act increasing the bed capacity of the Amang Rodriguez Memorial Medical Center in the city of Marikina from 300 to 500 beds, upgrading the service facilities and professional health care therein, and appropriating funds therefore. Roll call of members for consideration of House Bill 7065. Abaya, Abayon, Abellanosa, Abo, Abweg, Acharon, Ahok, Acosta, Acosta Alba, Adjong, Advincula, Agarao, Agabao, Abdipay Villar, Albano, Alcala, Alejano, Almario, Almonte, Alonte, Alvarez France, Alvarez Mercedes, Alvarez Pantaleon, Amante, Amatong, Andaya, Angara Castillo, Antonino, Antonio, Aquino Magsaysay, Aragones, Arbison, Arcillas, Arenas, Atchensa, Aumentado, Bagao, Bagatsing, Bagilat, Banal, Barbers, Versaga, Batawil, Batokabi, Bautista Bandigan, Bilaro, Belmonte Pilesiano, Belmonte Jose Christopher, Belmonte Ricardo, Benitez, Bernos, Bertiz, Biason, Billones, Biron, Bulilla, Bundok, Bordado, Bravo, Antoni, Bravo, Maria Vida, Brosas, Bulut Bigtang, Cagas, Calalan, Calderon, Calixto Rubiano, Caminero, Campos, Canama, Cari, Casila, Castelo, Castro, Franz, Castro, Predinil, Catanco, Caetano, Celeste, Serapica, Ceriles, Chávez, Chipeco, Co, Juanco, Coliantes, Cortés, Cortuna, Corsalan, Crisólogo, Cua, Coresma, Cueva, Dalipe, Datol, Daza, De Jesús, De Venecia, De Vero, De Pensor, Del Mar, De Rosario, De Los Montalla, 
Dimapura Abdullah, Dimapura Muhammad Khalid, Duabit, Durano, D. Ilago, Inverga, Irise, Erigel, Ermita Buhay, Escudero, Espina, Espino, Estrella, Eusebio, Ibardone, Parinas, Fernando, Ferrer Juliet, Ferrer Luis, Periol, Proyorendo, Flores, Fortun, Fortuno, Fentevilla, Garbin, Garcia Gwendolin, Garcia Jose Enrique, Garcia Albano, Garin Oscar, Garin Sharon, Casataya, Gachalian, Heron, Go Ana Cristina, Go Mark, Gomez, Gonzaga, Gonzalez Alexandria, Gonzalez Aurelio, Gonzalez Fernando, Goroseta, Gullas, Hernandez, Herrera D, Hopper, Halosos, Javier, Co, Kung Hun, Labad Laban, Lacson, Lagman, Lenete, Laugan, Lesatin, Dichon, Lee, Lim Kai Chon, Lubrigat, Lopez Benhur, Lopez Caro, Lopez Manuel Luis, Loyola, Makapagalaroyo, Maceda, Madrona, Malapitan, Manalo, Mangawang, Mga Dadatus Farto, Mga Dadatus Ajid, Marcoleta, Marcos, Marino, Marquez, Martinez, Matugas, Miliana, Mending, Mendoza, Mercado, Mirazol, Montoro, Naba, Nieto, Noel, Nograles, Jericho, Nograles, Carlo, Nolasco, Nunez, Malanyao, Nuaminal, Ocampo, Olivares, Ong Edwin, Ong Henry, Ortega, Pablo, Ortega, Vininola, Pacquiao, Paduano, Palma, Pancho, Panganiban, Panotes, Papandayan, Pichay, Pimentel, Pineda, Plaza, Remesia, Sagabas, Kimbo, Radaza, Ramirez, Sato, Ramos, Ramagos, Revilla, Roapuno, Robes, Rocamora, Rodriguez, Isidro, Rodriguez, Maximo, Roman, Romero, Romualdez, Romualdo, Roque, Sagdalan, Sagarbaria, Sahale, Salceda, Salimbang, Salo, Salon, Sambar, San Copan, Sandobal, Santos Recto, Sarmiento, Cesar, Sarmiento, Edgar Meri, Sabiliano, Sema, Siao, Silvero, Singson, Suan Sing Estrelleta, Suan Sing Horacio, Suarez, Si Alvarado, Tambunting, Tan Angelina, Tan Milagrosa, Tan Sherning, Tijada, Tebes, Chanco, Ting, Tinho, Torintino, Treña, Stugna, Tupas, T, Umali, Unabia, Ungab, Unico, Uy Juliet, Uy Rolando, Uy Barreta, Vargas, Vargas Alfonso, Vilarde, Velasco, Velasco Catera, Viloso, Vergara, Villafuerte, Villanueva, Villaraza, Suarez, Villarica, Villarín, Viulago, Yap Artur, Yap Milesio, Yap Victor, Yu, Samora, Maria Carmen, Samora, Ronaldo, Sarate, Subiri. With 186 affirmative votes, zero negative, zero abstention. House Bill 7065 is hereby approved on third and final reading. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, I move that the Secretariat be directed to immediately transmit to the Senate the recently approved bills on third reading. So move, Mr. Speaker. Is there any objection? The chair is none. The motion is approved. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, there being no more matters for the day, I move that we adjourn session until next week, February 19, uh, 2018, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So move, Mr. Speaker. Objection. <laughs> is there any objection? The chair is done. The motion is approved. Session will resume February 19, 4 o'clock, Monday. <laughs> <laughs>